channel y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is the ceo by tasty y'all onyx want to be in the video so bad onyx want to be noticed so bad what he want to be noticed so bad but as y'all can see i am back onyx can i record can i record onyx <laughs> I am back with an inventory video. If you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you can see more of my business slash vlog videos. Y'all, I am so excited. And another thing, an uh, update on the tour because y'all have been showing out on my channel. And I told you guys, once you run up all the views on all my recent videos and get them over a thousand, I will have the tour video. The thing is that there are still stuff going on with my house. So that is why they finally came and installed my washer and dryer today. Um, there's issues with my countertop and then there's another issue with damage that was done to the wall before I moved in and they basically like was ignoring me so I had to go above the person who I was dealing with and I finally got an appointment for this upcoming week so once everything is pretty much done we will have the video I don't know if I'm gonna up <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna upload like my business tour video first and then like a full house tour and then I also want my brother to come record it and I know he's going back to Houston so whenever he's back in town I'll have him record it I'll edit it and have it up for you guys so stay tuned for that but I do want to have like with the tour I'm gonna go around and show you guys everything but with the business room tour I want to like actually show you guys everything that I have for my business talk to you guys about it and my business room is still not all together yet so that's kind of why the video hasn't been up yet, but continue to run up the views, you guys. If you're not I'm going to have to stop mid-video to do my mentorship because I do have mentorship sessions today. Pretty much everybody said they wanted to do their mentorship sessions today, so this morning, and I just got home from work, y'all, like, straight from work to do some more work. So, um, I had, um, a finishing mentorship call this morning, and then I had a new session mentorship call, and then I have another mentorship call in about 30 minutes. So if you are interested in joining my mentorship, it's a two-week program, two phone calls. So basically whether, you know, you need help with growing your business, you're doing, because I have people who email me and comment all the time, what am I doing wrong? You want me to check your website, your Instagram, that's all mentorship related. You can book the mentorship when the slots open up. And it's two phone calls and text in between. So basically we'll have the first phone call, you know, whether you're a new business owner or you're looking to start a business or if you already have a business, we'll discuss that when you started, how you've been promoting. I'll go through your Instagram, go through your website, go through what else you, I need to go through give suggestions of all the things I need you to do and work on then the next I'll give you a few days because I understand you know people have kids I also have things going on so I give you two to three days to work on everything during that time I'll also be stalking y'all to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do and then I'll follow up with you see how everything's going whether because some people they have to take new product pictures so you know they'll send me pictures how do you like this is this good send me flyers and stuff they want to post so we'll go back and forth, and then we'll do that last session. So that's usually how it goes. So if you're not following my business page, make sure you follow so you know when the slides open up. I'm not sure when this video drops, if they'll be open or not, because, yeah, I have so many videos to record. Like, I got this video to record. I got another packaging order video to record because I still got orders to do. I got the small business promo video to record and upload and then I also have like day in the life videos to upload. If you have any video suggestions, please be sure to comment them or reach out to me on my iTasty page. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, so let's get to stocking these drawers. Not drawers, but cubbies. Y'all get the point. So I'm just going to basically fill these up. Okay. But I hope y'all are having a wonderful day I'm just so excited for everything you know I have planned these next few months because I have a lot planned and a lot that I'm working on and I'm just you know so excited you know to tackle some goals check some stuff off my list especially you know before um 2020 ends and then as far as 2021 that's going to be like straight grind mode like it's so much stuff I'm working on, you guys. I can't wait to. And I still need to find a space for my vending machine. But like I said, I wasn't really worried about that. I kind of wanted to give myself 
till January anyway. Like, finding a space for my vending machine was kind of like, I'm giving myself November and December because I want to find the right space. And I don't want my vending machine, you know, where everybody's vending machine is. Because, you know, I... I've reached out to a few malls, but it's like I want it somewhere different. And I'm trying to find that perfect space. You know, I don't want to put it somewhere and then it doesn't do well or I don't end up liking it being there and I have to move it again and I have to pay all this money to get it moved because I still have to figure out how much I'm going to have to pay to get it moved because currently it's at my parents' house. I have a huge restock coming, which that's another video I have to record is the unboxing of all the new lashes that are coming in the restocks. So, um, yeah, it's just a lot, y'all. So, I just have a lot that I'm working on. A lot, which some of that I've, to I've spoken on of already. And then some of it is just a secret. And I can't wait, you know, to unpack all that info with you guys if you're watching my channel. Especially, you know, if you've been watching me since the beginning of my journey, which is not that many people. I do remember the ones, you know, who've been here from the beginning. But as far as my channel, if you've been here from the beginning, or at least since last year, then you have definitely, you know, seen the growth of me, the growth of I Tasty. It's like, not, not just, you know, with my videos. Because with my videos, it's definitely more clearer. I've noticed that, especially since I moved, so I'm glad I picked this room for my business room because I have the lighting from the front windows, I have the lighting from my ring light, I have the lighting from the light of the room. And my videos are definitely way clearer, they're definitely edited way better, like I'm the one editing my videos, so they definitely, you know, look way better than they did a year ago. And um, I just appreciate like all of y'all watching this video, like thank you for supporting, if you're subscribed, thank you for supporting because you know a lot of people don't like to subscribe and stuff, which subscribers don't mean anything if you know about YouTube and stuff, you know that subscribers don't mean anything as far as you getting paid from YouTube, but it's just good to you know, because eventually I do want that 100k plaque, which I told y'all about, <laughs> which I think that's pretty much every YouTuber's goal is to get that 100k plaque. And I'm just still shocked at the fact that I've reached over um, 5,000 subbies. Of course, people want to text me while I'm recording. So these right here are all the H006. If you are watching this video and you are interested in starting your lash business, and you just happen to stumble across this video, then this is your sign to start your lash business today. This is the sign. <laughs> This is the sign. Head over to my website. You can start small because, you know, with my lashes, you can start small. All my lashes are affordable. And you can start small. You don't have to start with 100 pairs of lashes like I did, whether it was wholesale or for my retail lashes and my custom boxes. You don't have to start with 100. If you don't have, you can literally start your lash business today with less than $100. Less than $100. You got Christmas money or birthday money and it was up to $100, you can start your lash business. Purchase 15 lashes, see how they do, and then be back for more when you sell out. <laughs> like, please do not feel like you have to have thousands of dollars to start a business. And that's just for anybody watching this video. Please do not feel like you need thousands of dollars to start a business. Because at the end of the day, business is not for everybody. As much as people don't want to hear it, you might start your business and it might not be for you. That's the same way you know that school isn't for everybody. Working a nine to five isn't for everybody. Like there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. It's just not for some people. Like the nine to five lifestyle is not for me. Am I still working my job? Yes, because like I said, I'm working towards certain things to where I won't have to do that nine to five lifestyle a lot of people that are like me you work your full-time job you start a business your business starts growing a little bit you quit your job and then business starts slowing down and you don't have no plan b since i've started my business i've been working on my plan b you know other sources of income because y'all know i have my business i work my job i do youtube i do mentorships i do promo like i do so many things so it's not i'm not just depending on one thing, if that makes sense, but you have to have a plan. Don't just quit your job because people are forcing you. Like, I've had people, whether it's on YouTube or my Instagram live, try and tell me you need to quit your job. Who are you to tell me what to do? <laughs> 
Because like I said, I'm not for that lifestyle. Yes, I still work my job, but I'm not... I'm working towards things, like I said, I can't wait to tell y'all all the things that I'm working on and somebody out there might be interested too and I'll be able to help you and, you know, I'll be able to have videos offering insight into that as well. But for certain things that you want to do in life, certain things are necessary. But like I said, I have no problem working a 9 to 5 because at the end of the day, my full-time job is consistent income. Whether I get no sales for two weeks, I'm going to still get that paycheck every two weeks and my bills will be good. If I didn't have, if this dog don't get off me, if I didn't have my full-time job, then it's like, okay, you kind of, you know, have to hustle more because that's what you're dependent on. Because it's like, if you didn't make any sales or if you have kids also, not only do you have to make enough in your business to be able to, you know, put it back into your business, you also have to make enough, you know, to pay your bills and stuff. But like I said, y'all, we working towards all that. And I know there's entrepreneurs out there like me that still work their job. So it's like, if you work your job, that's why it's like, I don't see why it bothers people if somebody works their job or if they don't work their job. I work my job. I have no problem telling y'all I still work my job. But that's it's stuff. like if you've purchased any of my ebooks, then y'all know like with my stay in focused ebook, I talk about setting monthly and weekly goals for yourself. So that's something that I need to work on because tomorrow is the last day of October, which I know this video is gonna be up in November, but I'm not gonna speak all my goals on here yet because I just don't want to speak it out there yet, but I do have some goals I'm trying to reach in October. I mean, November. I said October, y'all. I got some goals I'm trying to reach in November, so I'm excited. October's Black Friday. October's Cyber Monday. So, you know, the goal is definitely to sell out. <laughs> Like I said, I got a huge restock coming. I can't wait to do that. So stay tuned. I really don't know what kind of sale I'm going to do on Black Friday yet. So please don't comment asking me what kind of sale. I don't know what kind of sale I'm going to do on Black Friday. I just don't know yet. But um, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to tackle some goals down before December because I do have goals. I do have things I have to get done. I'm just... I mean, I'm trying to get them done. I'm just trying to push myself because, like, these past, really this past week has been a lot. And I'm still trying to, you know, get myself together. Y'all, I can't wait till we have story times on this channel because eventually we're going to have story times. Not right now, but eventually because, y'all, I can't, like, I really can't wait to tell y'all the stuff that be going on in my life. But, um... And y'all would really never know. Like, y'all would never know because, you know, some people, I'm not going to say I know how to hide it. Like, if you know me in real life, then you'll sense when something is wrong with me. But, um, it's just some people, they're good at you would not know <laughs> necessarily. Like, I just come on here all happy, which this is not a pretense. Like, I'm really actually happy now because, like I said, I'm not trying to sit here and be depressed because if it was up to me you know I just crawl in my bed I wouldn't like when I'm sad I don't want to do anything I'm not watching TV I'm not eating like I'm just laid up in bed crying my eyes out and just doing nothing and not being productive but you can't let things like if you watch this video you can relate to anything I'm saying you can't let that get to you because like I said I hate when I'm mad like no matter what the reason I'm mad about I just hate it because I go into a whole shutdown and I don't want to do anything and I hate feeling like that because I like to be productive every single day like <laughs> I like to be productive because like y'all know I just moved so it's like um with me working and stuff it's like okay I got a few more things to purchase and then the other stuff I'm working on I'm using like my job paycheck for that I'm using my business money to reinvest and order all this restock like all the money is being put back into my business and stuff like that but it's just a lot sometimes and then having to deal with other stuff going on in your life is just a lot like it's, it's really just a lot you just be like dang I'm just so over everything but you can't get like that and I'm gonna be the one to tell you that because like I tell y'all 
I am the proof like like I said y'all might not think that people are going through stuff but I promise you people are no matter like how they come post pictures I'll still post pictures and stuff like Onyx can I record please can I record please can I record like I'll still record and stuff but if I didn't speak on it y'all wouldn't y'all probably wouldn't say anything but um it's definitely hard because I even have those moments with my YouTube, like something might not, it might not be something severe as what's going on with me now, which is not that severe, severe, like I'm still living, I'm still breathing, but um, if it's something that, you know, I have, I have, I've had those days, not recently though, but I've had those days, you know, where I want to record a video and then I pull out my camera, I'm ready to do it and I can't record <laughs> and I spoke on this in my last video, like I just can't, I just can't do it. But you got to force yourself. You got to literally look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're going to get this done. Like with me today while I was at work in the parking lot on break, I told myself, when you go home today, you're going to get this stuff done. You're going to record this organizing my shelf inventory video. If you still have time, you're going to record you packaging order, a packaging order video. And if you still have time, you're going to start working on your November goals, even though it's not the last day yet. You're going to go ahead and start working on your November goals. And if you still have time, you're going to go live and chat with the Tasties. So it's like, even though, you know, stuff or people try to, you know, make you shift your focus, you still got to, like, look yourself in the mirror and give yourself that pep talk. And I kind of, like, talk about that in my Stand Focused ebook. Like, you can't just sit down and be depressed. You got to force yourself to do, to do things. You got to be happy. Like, who wants to be out here sad? Like, just imagine, you know, if I had a bad day. Or I have something going on in my life. And it, like I'll take one day maybe. Like I said that one day. Like I'll take that one day to be sad and stuff like that. But after that it's like no. We we back in focus baby. Like that one day was the day. Like it's okay to you know take a day or two. But after that don't let you know that day or two take longer. To where it's to the point where you're not posting on your business pages and stuff like that. No matter what I am going through. Best believe I'm still posting on iTasty. That's a fact. Like, on my Instagram page, no matter what is going on in my life, I post on my story. I might not post on my page, but I post on my story, whether it's a product picture, whether it's me chatting with you guys, like, just making a statement. If you follow me, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't ever, like, you know, let that stuff get to where I'll still post and stuff. And then after that, you know, it's not like me going live and, and doing all this other extra stuff. I'll still be active. And that's kind of like the mentality you have to have because you can't let things get to you. You can't let things, you know, distract you from your goals. And I feel like with all that has gone on in my life, especially this past week, and it's kind of making me about to cry, but I'm not going to cry. But with all that has been on in my life this past week and I kind of felt like things were going wrong like all over it's like one thing after the other with all that that went on I honestly feel like that was God's way of telling like making me push further like I wasn't giving my full potential because I'm the type of person y'all let me know in the comments if that's you if I'm mad or something that makes me like especially at work for example if somebody you know talks crazy to you or something in my mind I'm just like you know I don't have to be here I have a business I have other streams of income I don't have to be here but you're talking to me crazy trying to you know and it's like I don't have to be here so once I'm mad that puts me into straight grind mode and then I could go to work come home run a sale go live and make way more money at home while still going to work, coming home, and I'll make some money at home. Just like when I took that three-week mental break. I was at home, I wrote that ebook in the same day, dropped that ebook, amazing success, and it was because I was pissed off at things people, you know, were saying to me. It, it pushed me, like, I'm the type of person, if I'm mad, it pushes me into full grind mode. And I feel like I kind of fell back after those three weeks passed. And, you know, it's been a few weeks now. I feel like I let that stuff, 
I like I got too comfortable not comfortable as to where I'm neglecting my business but comfortable to where I'm not giving my business it's the all that it should be gay like I'm not giving it so I feel like God did these things to make remind me that I need to focus on my goals because every time I've noticed every time I shift my focus something ends up happening in my life whether it's you know a situation with a dude whether it's a situation like something ends up going on in my life to where it's like I'm sad for a bit and then it's like okay back to grind mode and I start doing things like this year y'all I'm doing things that especially recently I'm doing things that y'all I, I wanted to do like last year like earlier this year but I had people in my life shifting my focus and being a distraction so I didn't so then it's like okay I'm sad and now I'm fully into grind mode and I'm dropping ebooks having sales going live more doing all this extra stuff and I'm back to you know that 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 goal driven person so recently like I said I was putting my focus into things I shouldn't have been putting my focus on while still also you know paying attention to my business and then God made these things happen and I thought you know stuff was gonna happen it didn't happen and that made me sad but now it's like okay God you're trying to show me that I don't need them I can do the I can do this I can be a full-time entrepreneur without that like I can do all these things without that I can focus on my goals without that and that's kind of like where my head is at right now and especially you know proving people wrong because y'all know people would love to you know speak negativity onto you they'll love to say like negative things to try to make you not do what you're supposed to do but not over here though but y'all see how this is getting filled like this is the h109 i could probably fit two more right there let me see where i got some at but this is the h109 these are the h12 these are the h26f i got the 632s the H006 and then the H108. So I'm going to fit a few more H108s right there. And then I'm going to combine this box with the other box. But I, I really hope I'm touching somebody with my video because I like to reach people with my videos. If you have somebody in your life or people or things in your life that are shifting your focus, you need to get back into focus mode. If you haven't purchased my Stand Focused ebook or any of my ebooks, you need to cop them <laughs> to see how to stay focused and not. Because, like I said, even though, of course, I'm not perfect, I'm a person just like you. I'm human. <laughs> so, just because I have an ebook doesn't mean, you know, just because I have a Stand Focused ebook doesn't mean every single day I'm focused 100%. No. But. My point is, and even if you did purchase my ebook, you it's constantly a reminder because things are going to happen in your life that are going to make you not be focused. Things like life happens, whether you try to make your life as perfect as you wanted to, life is always going to happen, y'all. Whether it's going to be a death in the family, a relationship issue, a job issue, life is always going to happen. So you just want to make sure that when life does happen, that you keep yourself focused like you stay focused on your goals like imagine starting your business and having your do you want your business to disappear do you want nobody to know who your business was like no you started your business for a reason yes business like it's hard you might have slowed it but you started your business for a reason what was the purpose of you starting your business did you start your business just to start it like you need to find your purpose. If you don't have a purpose, what was your purpose? Me personally, I've always, you know, wanted to start a business. I've always wanted to be a business owner. And from when I was a child, my mentality was I'm going to be my own boss. My career goal was to be a teacher, but my mindset was like to my parents, I'm like, I'm gonna be, I'm like, I'm gonna be the CEO. I'm gonna be the one that do the hiring and firing. Like that was my mentality. So even though I was going to school and stuff, I mean, I really didn't have a choice. <laughs> You know, growing up in an African household, you don't have a choice about going to school. That's that's automatic. And that's not just African household. There's a lot of parents like that. It don't matter whether you want to go to school for what you want to go for or not. 
you have to go to school or you're going to get out their house or whatever their ultimatum is. So, but I, I still did those things and still started my business. Like anything is possible. I wanted, and when I started my business, especially wholesaling, the reason I started my wholesaling business was to give women or male, because I do have male customers, was to give people the opportunity to make money was to be an affordable plug, was to be a U.S. plug. When you order from Alibaba, you have to pay fees and all this other stuff. When you order from me, you don't have to pay no website fees. You don't need nothing extra. You can literally go on my website, make your purchase, and boom, I'm in the U.S. I speak English. No offense, you know, to the overseas suppliers, but I have several suppliers. Like, throughout my business, I've had several suppliers because if you've been following, y'all know I've sold a lot of different things. And it's very hard sometimes to communicate with these vendors or they'll misunderstand something that you have said. You don't got to have that problem with me. Fast shipping, U.S.-based, affordable prices. With any lashes you purchase from me, you make double the profit. Whether you want to be a full-time entrepreneur or if you want this to be your side hustle, because a lot of people get that confused. Just, not everybody wants to have a huge business to where you have a website and stuff like that. Some people just like making a little money on the side. And that's totally fine. You know, everybody doesn't need to have a website. Now, of course, you know, if you want to ship from state to state to state, of course, I would recommend you having a website, of course, to grow your clientele. But some people, they just want to sell lashes here and there. And that's totally fine. So that was my purpose of wholesaling. I re received a lot of inquiries. And I'm like, you know what? I want to give people the, the opportunity, which I have. And I'm very grateful, especially to those watching this video who made me their vendor. Because, you know, we stay stocked up. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, so what did I do with these buckets? So I'm just trying to clear out as many of these boxes as I can. I feel like this video is getting way too long. So I probably will have a part two to this video or I'm going to have to show y'all the finished product because not all my inventory is here. As some of y'all know, I'm still not 100% moved into my house yet. I still have a lot of inventory in my parents' house, and I still have to fill my vending machine up with, like, what lashes I have over there. So I don't have, you know, every single lash style to fill this cubby. So I'll probably fill the rest of it off camera, and then I'll um, show you guys the finished product. But this organizing thing, I did get it from Ikea. In case anybody's going to ask, I got it from Ikea. Um, and yeah, like, thank you everybody, you know, for watching my videos, supporting my channel. If you shopped, thank you for that as well. I'm about to go look in the other room because I have lashes in the other room also. Y'all got so many lashes. So start your business today. Get your lashes ASAP. But, um, yeah, make sure y'all follow on the pages, my business page, my personal page. I'm going to try to fill up as much as I can. And then I'm also going to show you guys the pink cubby things that I purchased. I'll probably go over to my parents' house tomorrow to get some more lashes. That way I can see what exactly I need because I don't want to grab too much because then it's going to be left in my other... In the okay, guest. you guys, so I wanted to show you the little pink cubbies. These are my 25mm lashes. As y'all can see on some styles, your girl is low. But I'm probably going to put these cubbies on top of the shelf. Right now, I just have them sitting on the floor and they just have my 25mm lashes in them. So this is the progress with the cubby shelf you guys I'm upset that I haven't gotten further than I wanted to but I am sold out of the rest of the styles that's why they're pretty empty and I'm waiting for my huge restock so stay tuned for that but you know we did make some progress but not as much as I wanted to but stay tuned for that unboxing video you know make sure you're subscribed make sure you're following to be notified and if you are interested in starting your business the link is down below to start your lash business and make me your plug and get some of these lashes off my hand but I can't wait I can't wait to vlog me filling my vending machine stay tuned for all those videos you guys and thank you for watching